fewer Christmas trees, but people still want them. That is the state of the Christmas tree industry right now. And 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen shows us why there is a limited supply. With the holiday season officially upon us, Christmas tree sales are ramping up. However, if you're looking to get one, you might have to pay a pretty penny. The smell of fresh fur makes for a festive spirit in this Christmas tree lot in the southwest. It's a smell, man, it's, and it's, just, it's a tradition too, so every year this is something that we do. Justin Petuya is looking for his ideal tree. He's prepared to spend the money. It's, it's pricey, but yeah, we're, we, we, uh, we set aside a, a budget every year for how much we're going to spend on a tree. That's the reality for many people across the country. The National Christmas Tree Association says the average price of a real tree soared to $78 last year. That's because there's a limited supply of trees since not as many were planted 8 to 10 years ago after the Great Recession. However, the demand is still there after a record 33 million trees were sold in 2018. We've heard from a number of our members that their sales were up compared to prior years, so we think 2019 is off to a great start. The association says the demand has remained high with more families wanting to capture the Christmas spirit at home. That's a huge part of it. The families want that experience. They want to, you know, take a lot of photos, they want to post them on social media. And if the price is too steep, you can cut your own by getting a permit for $4 by making a two and a half hour drive to Lincoln County. Locals here say they're fine with the trees in this lot to get in the festive mood. Once uh, once you get it settled in and the smell just permeates through, you can't, can't beat that. Now, as we get closer to Christmas, the trees will get cheaper. However, the selection will become much more limited. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.